Can I use aluminum wire for a 100 amp service at 150 feet? Hello, everyone. Today we're going to talk about an important topic in electrical systems. Can we use aluminum wire for a 100 amp service at a distance of 150 feet? Understanding the appropriate wire types and sizes for specific applications is crucial in ensuring safety and efficiency in electrical systems. What is aluminum wiring? Aluminum wiring became popular in the mid-20th century as a cost-effective alternative to copper. While it is lighter and less expensive, aluminum does have its drawbacks. It is more susceptible to corrosion and has a higher coefficient of thermal expansion, which can lead to loosening of connections over time. However, modern aluminum alloys have mitigated some of these issues and it's widely used in high-capacity power transmission. What wire size do I need for a 100 amp service? Selecting the right wire size for a specific ampacity is important to prevent overheating and potential fire hazards. The National Electric Code, NEC, has a table, Table 310.15, B, 16, that provides information on the capacities of different wire sizes. For a 100 amp service, you typically use a 1 over 0, pronounced, 1 aught wire in aluminum. However, the length of the run can affect this. Does distance affect wire size? Yes, distance does affect wire size. The longer the distance, the larger the wire you'll need to prevent significant voltage drop, which can affect the performance of your electrical devices. This is why for longer runs, like our 150 feet example, we have to consider upsizing the wire. What size of aluminum wire is needed for a 100 amp service at 150 feet? To find the appropriate wire size, we would need to calculate the voltage drop over the wire's length to ensure it's within acceptable limits, typically less than 3%. For 100 amps over 150 feet, a 2 over 0 aluminum wire should be adequate to maintain proper voltage. So, yes, you can indeed use aluminum wire for a 100 amp service at 150 feet, but you'll want to use 2 over 0 wire to accommodate for voltage drop over that distance. Remember, every electrical installation should comply with local codes and regulations, and any work should be performed by a qualified electrician. We hope this discussion has been helpful, and as always, stay safe.